Hi, this is a quick video to help you understand how can we drive a manual transmission vehicle. This is a sedan uh, and it's, <clears throat> it's not a left-hand drive like in the US. It's a right-hand drive uh, like in some other country. In this example, it is India. In this example, we'll see how to start and drive a manually transmission, a manual transmission vehicle. So here the gear stick is manual. It's not automatic. Uh, in, in an automatic one, like, you know, you have the drive, you have the park and then you have the reverse and then you have the drive and um, low and slow. All those options like Prandel, PRNDL kind of thing. But here this is manual and this is um, a vehicle in India. And um, this is how we start. So in, in vehicles where you have um, manual transmission, uh, there is usually a third a pedal that is the clutch. So the right pedal, like in everywhere, in, like in all cases, is the, axle, is the gas pedal. And gas pedal is also known as the accelerator. And the middle uh, pedal is the, the brakes. That's the, that's the brake. And the leftmost pedal is the clutch. That's the clutch pedal. So before changing, before changing the gear stick, every time you uh, want to change the gear, the first thing you need to do is press the clutch pedal, like completely to the end that way. So before uh, shifting the gears, before changing the gears, either from a uh, neutral to a higher number or from higher number to a lower number, the first thing we need to do is hit, is, pre is press down the clutch pedal completely to the bottom of the floor like you know completely like uh, as much as you can i mean completely basically basically just floor it and only then um it, it is advisable to change the gear stick the the gear from from higher to lower or lower to higher all right so um okay so let's start with the first step of starting the car currently this car is not moving it is at rest uh let's see how do we start the car and um, um, the, whenever a car is parked, um, it will be in some uh, some gear. Um, we would no one would park a car in in the neutral uh, neutral gear or a neutral position. Um, in, in the U.S. and other countries, we may have um, uh, an option called park, like P. Uh, here we don't have a P or a park. All we have is the reverse and the first gear and the second gear, third gear and the fourth gear and the fifth gear. Um, so. Um, so, uh, we don't have a park. So usually, when we whenever we park a car, park a manually driven vehicle, it would it would either be in a lower gear, like first or second, or it will be one of the higher gears. So whenever we are like stopping the car, it doesn't matter. All right. So to start the car, the first thing we need to do is uh, get the uh, gear stick in the neutral position. Get the gearbox in the neutral position. Get the engine in the neutral neutral mode. And like I said earlier, anytime before shifting the gear stick, first thing you need to do is press the clutch pedal. So press the clutch pedal to the floor, and then let's bring this to neutral. So, so this is the neutral position. Um, so okay, one second, let me just confirm that. Yeah, uh, yeah, this is this is new. This is neutral. Okay. So how do you confirm that uh, it is neutral? Is um, that this this straight line is the neutral gear or or it's zero gear it's th that means the car is not in gear at all um, and and might as well I might I might add uh, before bringing it to the neutral position it's imp it's it's a good idea to press the brake pedal also because in case the car is on a slope uh, the, uh, the moment you press uh, the clutch the and the uh, you, the moment you press the clutch pedal and bring it in the neutral mode, if you're not hitting the brakes, the car will start moving either forward or backward, depending upon where it is, depending upon the slope of the road. So um, let me begin again. Uh, let me put in some gear here. So I'm starting the car. Before starting the car, the first thing I do is, uh, it's not in neutral. I want to bring it in neutral. So I press the clutch pedal completely. And then I also press the brake pedal. Okay. And then I bring this into the neutral position. This is the neutral position. How do I confirm? When the gear stick is, um, can be moved freely from left to right, it's the neutral position. In, in other gear positions, then the, the, the movement from left to right is, is not much. There is a little movement that's because of wear and tear, but uh, it's not as much as in the neutral position. All right, so this is neutral, all right? So uh, before I actually start the car, let me just quickly tell you the 
uh, the gears that we have uh, in a manual transmission in the car in India. Um, like, uh, like I said earlier, this is R is reverse and these are the other gears. So if you want to put the engine in the first gear, uh, you would just, uh, 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 you would just put move to the uh, you would just push the uh, okay just let, let me confirm a couple things here okay so you would move yeah you would move the gear stick to the left and forward that's the first gear okay this is the first gear you move it to the like it says here that's the that's a diagram you have you are actually over here this is the neutral position okay and i think they have a little bit of marking over there which shows that uh, uh, that's the neutral position like uh, you see it's like a it's like a bigger opening here i mean it's a marking kind of thing okay so uh to get in the first gear uh the clutch is pressed and the brake pedal is pressed and um, later on we'll do that after starting the car also but to get in the first gear is you move it to the left and then push it forward that's the first gear okay i bring it, and to bring it back to neutral you can just just bring it push it back it, it just comes in the neutral position so this is neutral completely left and forward as per the diagram per the diagram here so that's first gear similarly if when you want to go to the second gear so this first gear when you go to go to the second gear you can come down in the same line straight line down that's the second gear okay this is neutral this is first and in the straight same line you can come down it's a second gear if you want to come in the second gear from neutral, that would be just left and down. That is the second gear. All right. And then this is neutral again. So this is first. In the same line is second. And neutral and normal and push, that's the third gear. So if you don't push left or right and you just push it forward, that's the third gear. Like it says in the diagram. Okay. So this is first. And this is second, and this is neutral again. And if I just push forward, that's third. And then if I just bring it here to the right and down, is is the fourth gear. So I didn't have to move too much to the right and down. It's basically just in the in the neutral position and down is a fourth gear. Yeah, let me make it. Let me make that clarification. Okay, so neutral position just forward is third gear and neutral position just backward is the fourth gear all right and then if if you're already at high speed and you're already at on the top gear like fourth gear you still want some uh, the engine to be you know uh, gain the momentum and um, go higher speed you can move to the right and forward that's the fifth gear that's like they call it double top fourth gear is called the top gear and fifth gear here is called as double top all right so hope that is clear let me know if you have any questions or comment uh, questions in the comments here so left okay i've not shown about the reverse gear that's a tricky one i'll come back come to that one in a second so left forward is the first gear and left down is the second is the second gear and and remember i've pressed the clutch as well as the brake so the car is not going to move anywhere because i'm controlling the car's movement though it is not started uh, with the brake pedal especially and i can move the gear stick freely because i've pressed the clutch pedal completely down to the floor all right so this is the first gear this is the second gear and when i just do don't do anything i just move it forward that's the third gear and if i just bring it down from neutral that's the fourth gear and when i come from neutral and move to the right and forward that's the fifth gear like double top okay so these are the gears to move forward what if you want to go backwards that's when the reverse gear or r comes into play and this is the latest thing i've heard here it was not the same uh, 10 years ago but right now in order to go to in, into the reverse mode you have to press the you have to press the gear stick down and then go back I mean, then go left and forward that's the reverse gear it's like push down left and forward that's the reverse gear okay and this car makes uh, some a beep also when you put it into the reverse gear this is volkswagen vento and um, 
Uh, let me let me sh show the demo. Dem let me demo this again with the car engine started. Uh, let's start the car. Uh, this is the key I have here. I press this button. So that that's how it opens the, the key. Like it's this kind of fancy thing. All right. So uh, I'm on the right hand side of the car, and this is a right hand drive. It's a manual right hand drive vehicle, and. Uh, that's how you I mean it's, it's, it's a two-way I think you just insert the way uh, the key any anyhow it will start the car I mean it's it's a two-way key okay so to start the car again uh, the first thing I need to do is I need to make sure that I'm in neutral position my gear stick my gearbox my transmission is in neutral mode all right um, it's not a good idea to start the car in any of the gears because you are intending to you want you're putting the load on the engine to move the car right away, which is not a good idea. Okay, this is neutral, 100% neutral. I can confirm that because the gear stick is moving left to right. And I have uh, the clutch, pedals complete, clutch pedal completely pressed and the brake also is pressed. And I'm going to start the car right now. So I start the car. Uh, I have not touched the gas pedal or the accelerator yet right, as of now. So because uh, I'm not going to move the gear... Um, gear stick any uh, right away I am uh, just one second let me lower down the AC wall AC speed okay I've turned down the fan speed uh, okay so uh, I have just started the car and I have not uh, pressed the gas pedal at all this is the default timing of the engine which keeps the engine running okay um, so now um, I, the vehicle is still in the in the neutral mode. Uh, I can I can remove I can lift my foot from the clutch pedal if I don't want to change the gear right away. If I will just want to wait here, um, if, I'm, if I'm waiting for someone or something, so I can just uh, stay in this mode. The engine is running and the uh, the car is in neutral mode. I've pressed the brake pedal and um, I don't need to press the clutch. Okay, now suppose you are ready to move. Uh, what do we do? Uh, the first thing is, so we need to get into the first gear. So before touching the gear stick, you, we need to press the clutch pedal completely. And remember, I've, I'm still keeping my uh, brake pedal pressed because uh, I don't want the car to move right now at all. And assume I'm on a slope. I'm on a slope. It could be a slope like a down, uh, you know, forward slope or a backward slope. It, there could be some grading. So that the the keeping down the pre, the brake pedal really helps in all conditions all right so now i have got the clutch pedal completely down and i want to start i want to move forward i'm going to get into the first gear and remember the first gear is moving from this point to this point and forward so left and forward that's the first gear so <clears throat> the car engine is in the first gear and all both the pedals are pressed the clutch and the brake and nothing's going to happen. We are still uh, stationary. Uh, so the moment I want to move, um, so in order to move forward, I need to first. I can let me let the let the brake go off. So if I let the brake go off, if I'm if I'm uh, not on a slope, the car will not move anywhere at all. Okay, it'll be like still in the same position. Okay, but now I want to move it forward. So I'm going to uh, move my right foot. And place it on the gas pedal or the accelerator and uh, the graduality with which I'm going to lift the uh, my foot off the clutch pedal is the same thing is the same graduality with which I would I would uh, press the gas pedal or the accelerator so I'm going to lift my left foot slowly uh, for the gear for the engine and gear to work to push the car forward and I'm going to uh, press the accelerator or the gas pedal uh, and this in the same uh, with the same uh, momentum or with the, at the same pace uh, but downwards so my left foot is going to go up but my right foot is going to go down and this is required so that there is enough fuel that fuel supply to the engine if I just uh, lift the gas uh, lift the clutch without pressing the gas pedal the car would give some jerks and it will just come to a halt because it did not get enough fuel for the for the propulsion okay so i'm in the first gear and i'm going to try to move forward i'm going to lift my left foot gradually and 
and at the same time I'm going to press the gas pedal so that it gets the fuel to go forward and that's how the car will move. So that's how the car moves forward. Okay, so I, I've still not completely lift, lifted my left foot. I have just gently let go of the pressure from the clutch and I am pressing the gas pedal with the same kind of pressure as the pressure has released. Okay, so, uh, so now there is a little bit of pressure on the engine. The engine, the car cannot move fast enough in the first gear. So the moment you move, uh, start moving on the first gear for a few seconds, like 10, 20, 30 seconds, you'll feel the engine is kind of uh, asking for more, like engine is kind of, you feel like engine is overloaded. At that point in time, you press the clutch pedal again and you, you, place, the, you press the gear stick in the second gear, okay? And then try to release the, uh, again, try to uh, release the clutch pedal gently and uh, keep pressing the gas pedal or the accelerator gently. Okay, so that's how you move. All right. And then similarly, when, uh, uh, when you speed up further down, further up, uh, you can, now, okay, now I'm coming to a halt because as the road is ending, so I press the clutch pedal completely and then I press the brake pedal. So I'm, I'm completely at a, at a halt, at rest. And now I'm gonna um, yeah, turn on an indicator and I'm, I'm gonna make a left turn. But now since I've come to a complete halt, I cannot, well, I would not like the engine, the car to move with uh, the, in, the gear stick in the second mode because uh, letting, make, making a move or the entire engine and car move from in the second mode is too much of a load of, on the engine. So I would prefer to come in the first gear uh, and then I would like to move forward. Okay, so uh, that's in the first gear and I was just waiting for another vehicle to go. I'm just gonna make a U-turn over here. So, so I'm in the first gear and I am making a U-turn. So, in order to make a U-turn, I move forward and now I want, to go to, I want to put the car in the reverse gear. So like I said earlier, I need to press this down and move it to the left. And that was a beep I was talking about in the reverse gear, in this car at least. Uh, uh, there is a beep sound when the car is placed in the reverse, when the engine is placed in the reverse gear. Okay, so same thing applies when I'm going backwards. I just uh, release the clutch gently and I make sure that I am I have enough um, fuel for the engine so I uh, press the gas pedal as needed all right and now I'm gonna move in the forward gear again you see I was in the reverse gear now I just come here and it's up and then I just move in the first gear at a higher level oh, this is at the higher level all right and now I just release the clutch gently and then I uh, press the gas pedal or the accelerator gently and I move forward and the car is moving forward. All right. Okay, so I'm in the first gear, the car is moving in, in at good pace and then I just press the clutch pedal again and then I come in the second gear and then I let the car I continue driving in the second gear all right and similarly as the speed increases I would press the clutch pedal and shift into higher gears a quick word on how the gear system works in a car is uh, lower the gear higher, higher the torque and lower the speed and as and when the car gains momentum um, you can shift into higher gears that would give you lower torque but higher speed so in general start the car in neutral position or neutral gear and shift it into the first gear and that's when the car has that's when the engine has maximum torque 
or max torque that means the engine has we are using the engine's maximum capacity to move the car from at rest position into getting it into a motion all right and then similarly as uh, as and when the car gains momentum you feel the uh, engine is slightly overloaded you shift into the higher gear move forward you feel the engine is about to uh, feel sound or like overloaded you move into the higher gear all right i i'm sure you'll get the idea as and when you practice um, as time goes by all right Obviously, when I'm moving forward, I don't need to press the brake at all. Only when I'm coming to a halt, I need to press the clutch completely and press the brakes completely. And that's how I come to a halt. All right. I think I need to come to a halt now. I'm going to press the brake completely. And I'm, I'm pressing the... Uh, uh, I press the clutch pedal completely and I also pre I'm pressing the brake I'll be pressing the brake pedal also okay so now I press the brake pedal completely though I was in the second gear doesn't matter I press the clutch completely and I press the brakes and I'm at a at a halt uh, the car is at rest right now Okay, and then I simply uh, turn off the engine. I've, I've pressed both the pedals. I just simply turn off the engine. And I remove the key. And uh, uh, and then I, 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 left, I let my clutch and the brake pedals go. Okay, again, because I'm in some gear, here in this case, second gear, the car is, is not going to move forward or backward, even if there is a, if there is a slope. So before stepping out of a car, of a, out of a manual car, make sure that uh, the gear stick is in some gear, first gear, second gear, third gear, doesn't matter. All right. And then only you should step out. That will ensure that the car is actually parked properly. It's in a parking, parking mode, park mode. All right. Um, I think uh, that should be good for as a first lesson on driving a manual manual transmission car uh, let me know if you have any questions i'll be happy to respond thank you so much